What is up? Okay. We have four barbecue sauces here. All right. These are from Motor City Barbecue. And the reason I have these sauces is because this was recommended to me by Mr. Ted Barris. Now, Ted contacted me and said uh, he tried these sauces because we had a general conversation about stuff. And he said, this is something that you have to try because it was his, he thinks this is the best barbecue sauce he ever had. Now, Ted Barris, if you don't know, I'll put a link in the description box to uh, his channel. He's a sauce boss. The man has tried a lot of sauces. And to say it's the best, that really means something. So, it, you know, I totally trust in his opinion. Uh, you know, I've tried a lot of the stuff that he's tried on his channel. I agree as far as, like, taste and, and how we pick up different flavors and stuff like that. Pretty close to him. So if he says it's good, I got to try it. And, of course, this goes from tame to spicy. Uh, the first one here is our original recipe. All right, and this does have has very little spice, if any, from what I understand. The ingredients are tomato concentrate, distilled vinegar, mustard seed, honey, molasses, sugar, brown sugar, salt, pepper, natural hickory smoke, flavor, and seasoning. So I don't believe there's any heat in this at all. What I like about reading these uh, ingredients is that there's nothing else in it. There's nothing I can't pronounce. There's nothing I don't recognize. They're all natural. They sound delicious. We will find out. Who knows? Maybe they're disgusting. Don't know, but I can tell you that I do uh, trust in Ted's opinion on stuff. Um, the next one here is the Holy Smoke. And the ingredients in this one are tomato concentrate, distilled vinegar, mustard seed, honey, molasses, sugar, brown sugar, salt, pepper, natural hickory smoke and flavor. Uh, smoke and flavor. So basically same ingredients. The only addition in this one is pepper, in this case, Boutrelokia. So Holy Smoke, Sporting, the Ghost Pepper. The next one here is the Name the Flame contest. So there's no actual name on this. Ted, I believe, was running the contest to um, to pick a title for this sauce. Uh, the ingredients on this, same standard thing, tomato concentrate, distilled vinegar, mustard seed, garlic powder, honey, molasses, sugar, brown sugar, salt, pepper, natural uh, hickory smoke flavor. But the peppers in this one is the Trinidad Scorpion, Butch Tea, Boutrelokia, uh, and Habanero. So I'm assuming this one is going to be crazy hot. But it doesn't stop there. The hottest one in their series is this. This is the uh, Scorpion. I showed you. I think I showed you the front of these because I am facing me, so I can read them. But uh, this is the Scorpion, and uh, the ingredients on this: tomato concentrate, distilled vinegar, mustard seed, honey, molasses, sugar, brown sugar, salt, pepper, natural hickory smoke flavor, and seasonings. But what's in this one is the Trinidad Maruga Scorpion Butch D Pepper. So this sports the current world's hottest pepper. It's hot. I did a video trying one, and it really kicked my butt. Really did. So I'm assuming these are going to pack quite a bit of punch. Again, what I love about these so far, without even trying them, I love that the ingredients are all natural. The ingredients are very straightforward. There's nothing weird in there. All right, which also tells me that these should be refrigerated after you open them. The other thing I like about these is the presentation. I've never seen... Any kind of sauce, hot sauce, barbecue sauce, anything, come like this. The labels themselves are, I can't really explain it, they're really thick, and they actually have like a texture to them, um, almost like canvas, but I love the style that they have. The bottle is very unique. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. The labels are very straightforward and very cool. So just on presentation alone, I really like it. I'm hoping they taste good, but uh, we will find out together. So I'm going to start from the mildest and work my way up to see what the heat is really like. Now, with uh, any kind of sauce, barbecue sauce, hot sauce, stuff like that, you can have a crazy name and it can have the world's hottest pepper in that in it, but if it's only a, a minute amount, it's not hot. You know, some of these sauces, you know, if it can have a habanero. In other words, this one has the hottest pepper in the world, but a habanero sauce can be hotter if there's only a teeny tiny bit of pepper in this one and the other one's basically a habanero mash. So there's a lot of variety there and variations on heat. So I got the old golden spoon and uh, we're gonna try these. I'm hoping the flavor is good. And then obviously the other thing I'm, I'm interested to see is how hot they really are. I like it hot, but uh, I don't know. I'm trying these straight for the review, but in the future I may cook with them. Of course, when it gets nice out, I'll do some, uh, some chicken on the grill, stuff like that. Oh, there we go. Nice little pop on the seal there. Okay, so original recipe. This is basically going to have no heat. Ooh, it's just going to be a straight flavor. 
and the rest will taste like this, but in addition with the peppers. All right, so this smells really good. Uh, straight up smoky barbecue uh, scent on this. It smells, uh, I definitely smell the molasses. It's standing out a lot in here. Initially, it smells a little ketchupy, but then it, you can easily tell the difference, and it is more of like a molasses smell. It, it smells really sweet. So let's give a little try here. Let's do a little bit just to get some flavor. All right, so there we go. And this, like I said, this is the original recipe. So this is basically the base flavor for all these sauces. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Consistency is perfect. It's um, kind of syrupy, very smooth. There's no chunks of anything in here. Very, very sweet. Uh, I like barbecue sauces that are sweet. A lot of brown sugar, molasses, stuff like that. And the molasses is definitely giving this a really – well, I'm not going to keep going. <laughs> it's good, though. I can definitely drink this out of the bottle. It's really good. Now I'm just curious as to the heat. Uh, I'm trying to think what I can compare this to, like store-bought stuff. Um, it's not not really like – I don't know. Uh Try and think of a good comparison so you guys can understand what it kind of tastes like. It doesn't really taste like Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of its own thing. But if you like the brown sugar, like I said, the sweeter barbecue sauces, it's spot on. It's awesome. All right. So Holy Smoke has the heat from the Buchalokia. So let's see what this one's all about and see how hot it really is. Haven't had uh, hot stuff in a while. I mean, I eat my, uh, my pepper flakes all the time. My ghost bumps all uh, right okay so yeah I smell a little bit of heat in there same base you know smells and I'm sure the same taste too I pick up the pepper but not not really strong it just smells kind of hot all right so let's see what we got here Hopefully this is a good medium sauce where a lot of people can tolerate the heat. I'm going to give a little more in this spoonful so I can get the real idea of what the heat's like. So more of like a half-filled spoon. All right, here we go. A little Buccalokia. Oh, what an amazing, amazing flavor. And... I'm not getting any heat at all. It tastes exactly like this. I had a decent amount on the spoon. Let's see. Let's try a little bit more. This is what I'm talking about with the um, with the heat. You know, there could be Buccioloki in there, but if it's one tiny little flake in each bottle, it's not going to give you much. Okay. Getting a little bit. It's... It's really, really minute. Um, this is a sauce that anyone can have, and um, and I really enjoy it. I mean, it's it's almost nothing. It's in the back of my throat, but it's like Tabasco sauce would blow this out of the water as far as heat. So nothing to worry about in the heat department. Still an amazing flavor. Really, really good. Very rich. Like I said, very sweet. Almost like candy. It's like barbecue sauce candy. It really is delicious. Okay, name the flame. This one has the Scorpion, Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea, Buccalokia, and Habanero. Now this one I'm noticing, I can actually see little bits of pepper in here. Uh, the first two were very smooth consistency, no, no texture at all. I don't, you know, didn't feel uh, any kind of um, chunks of anything in there. This one looks like it might be a little bit chunkier, which probably tells me that there's a little bit more heat because there's actual pepper pieces in there. But we will find out together in a minute. Okay. So name the flame. Put a little bit on here. Another kind of half spoonful. Okay, I can definitely smell the peppers in this one. They're coming out. It's like 60% that good barbecue sauce and 40% uh, um, the peppers smell. And I can actually see them in here. They're very small bits, but I can actually see the pepper, so hopefully this will have some heat. 
Here we go. This is the name, the flame. Mm. Oh, this is where the money's at. Ooh, there's a kick too. Okay. Little tiny bits of the peppers in there. I can taste the buccalokia. I mean, you bite into it and then explode in your mouth. The habanero hits your mouth immediately and gives you that mouth burn. And then the buccalokia and the butch tea, they hit the back of the throat and it's starting to warm up. Really delicious. I mean, this will warm me up on a cold winter's night. Oh, man, this would be... As far as heat tolerance, too, this is, you get the burns from the three different peppers. I'm actually starting to salivate already. Oh, that's good. This is my my level of heat. It's more than most, but it's not ridiculous. It's not burn your face off. Um, it would probably kill someone who doesn't like spicy food, but if you're somewhat of a chill, like you like experimenting a little bit, you like your Frank's Red Hot, stuff like that, you will love this because the heat is different. Different peppers attack you different ways. Like I said, the habanero hits you right up, right up front in your mouth, um, you know, back of the lips, all around the inside of your mouth, your tongue. Um, you get a little bit of burn in your gums, and then slowly that that butchalokia climbs up in back of the throat, and that butch tea hits you right in the tonsil. Um, that's that, this is where it's at. This is would be phenomenal on some chicken or some ribs. But now that makes me wonder: this one going to be hotter than this one? Because this one's about Actually, you know, I could take more heat and still enjoy it, but it's almost at that level where it's like a little uncomfortable. Beautiful flavor. Uh, just one of my favorite sauces. I, I have to say, I've had hot, hot sauces that were a little bit better than this flavor-wise, but this is the best barbecue sauce I've ever had in my life. So this one, I'm guessing, might be a little bit over the top for me. I don't really know. It, it all has to do with the, the content. And this is a great example of, you know, not knowing what you're going to get. You can read this. Anyone would read this and go, oh, my God, there's a ghost chill in here. I'm not going to – I don't know if that was a burp or a hiccup. It's kind of both. Um, you read uh, Buccioloki and you go, no, that's way too hot for me. I'm telling you, this one has, like, no heat at all. This is the holy smoke. Amazing flavor. This one, even better for me. Maybe too hot for some. All right. I'm mustering up the courage to do the uh, the scorpion. Let's just get it over with. Again, this one has the Trinidad Maruga Scorpion Butch Tea. Um, shake well. Enjoy, share, repeat. Oh, they have a Facebook page here, too. I'll put links in the description box and you can check these guys out. Um, boom, 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 boom. Okay, now, unlike um, uh, a lot of hot sauces, there are some calories in here because of the, uh, you know, the sweetness, the sugars, the um, molasses in here. 41 calories for two tablespoons. That's really not much at all. So if you were to coat a chicken or something, it wouldn't add too much to it. All right. It says the hottest pepper in the world. The question is, how much of it is in there? Little tiny piece or a lot? I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, smell is pretty much the same as Name the Flame. I can pick up the pepper smell in there. The Maruga has a very distinct uh, smell and flavor, um, but it's still subtle. It's not It's not all pepper, not like a hot sauce would be. This is definitely, I'm smelling the sweet barbecue sauce, so let's give this a little go. I'm going to get the curd. I'm just going to put a bunch on the spoon because it's the last, last shot here. All right, so almost a full spoonful. My nose is running from uh, Name the Flame. It's getting all the fluids in my face <laughs> loose. Okay, down the hatch. Mmm. Mmm. Smooth consistency. Delicious flavor. I'm really picking out the mustard in this one, which I love. I love. I'm a huge fan of mustard. Definitely getting the mustard seed. And this is that straight maruga. So I'm getting the throat burn. It's warm in my throat. But I don't get that habanero attack in the mouth, which is really interesting. I I don't know if I like this more. It's not hotter. In fact, be, even though the habanero is not the hottest pepper, it's not, not that much. It, it's such a quick, just boom, in your face heat that this has a hotter pepper, but this one seems hotter to me overall because of the mix. 
I'm thinking I like this the most. This has that throat burn I like. It's the same as having the uh, the pepper bumps, the ghost bumps. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal flavor. I'm going to definitely say this is my favorite. The Motor City Barbecue Scorpion. You guys have got to try this one. If you're not into the heat, the holy smoke still, because uh, there's barely, barely anything. Um, if you're allergic to peppers and you're going to swell up like a balloon, then just get the regular one. But... Um, Wow, what a what an amazing flavor. So originally they had these three. They had the original recipe, the Holy Smoke, and the Scorpion, and they came with this new one, and all they really did was add chunks of peppers, you know, or, or like a blend of peppers as opposed to having just a smooth consistency. I really like it. This is definitely – this would be great on to make barbecue wings for someone like a real chili head. Um, just phenomenal flavor. This uh, definitely – solidifies my trust in Ted's taste. This is the best barbecue sauce I've ever had in my life. And, I, and I've had a lot of different barbecue sauces out there. I'm still trying to think of one that you can compare it to. I will say it's similar to Sweet Baby Ray's, which has to be or used to be my favorite barbecue sauce. But this one's even better. Not because of the heat. Just the base flavor is amazing but this one uh the mustard seed stands out a little bit more which which i my personal taste is blows me away so trust me this bottle will not last very long skeptical 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 i'm i'm burning a little bit here so my, i can't can't talk that great um when someone says something's the best in the world i'm like really the best in the world like the best you ever had um i can say yes i agree i absolutely agree there's some good barbecue sauce out there but you like Sweet Baby Ray's, this a little bit better. And it's got some heat. So that's it. That's my review of the uh, Motor City Barbecue Sauces. Um, it'd be hard for me to try anything else. I, I don't think, I, I mean, obviously different sauces have something different to offer. But if I have barbecue anything, this is the kind of stuff I want on it. And uh, I'm definitely going to have to get more of this because this won't last very long. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.